Hello, I'm the mascot of the Euro in Israel. I have to give a positive image of my country, but it's really hard. I'll tell you. UEFA Chas Israel is the host country for Euro Under 21. The UEFA European Under 21 Championship will begin on the 5th of June, with the top two nations in each group progressing to the semi finals of the tournament. The final will be held in Jerusalem on the 18th of June. Palestinian athletes write a letter to UFA in June 2011. They urge to give the red card to Israel apartheid state which prevent the development of sport in Palestine. For example, Mahmoud Sarzak, team player of Palestine, spent three years in prison without charge and without trial. He made a hunger strike for 92 days before being released in July 2012. He calls for action to put pressure on the UEFA. Other footballers are imprisoned as these two players from the team of Alamari near Ramallah, Daily obstacles to freedom of movement prevent teams come together to train and play normally. And most recently in November, in Gaza, four teenagers playing football were murdered and a stadium was bombed. This attack causes the reaction of 50 professional footballers. They say that It is unacceptable that children are killed while they play football. Israel hosting the UEFA Under-21 European Championship in these circumstances, will be seen as a reward for actions that are contrary to sporting values. A few days after the attack in Gaza, there is the draw of the Euro in Tel Aviv. Michel Platini, UFA president, meets Paris, president of Israel. We receive a lot of letters that they were not happy, that you can imagine, but I receive the same when we are to playing the Euro in Ukraine because of some uh, political internal problem. Platini said the UFA cannot hold the Israeli Federation responsible for the political situation in the region. But the Euro is organized by the State of Israel. Look at these letters of support from the President, the Minister of the Interior, Sports, Town. All these institutions practice apartheid. The red card campaign is taking place in several countries to put pressure on UEFA. BDS activists ran onto the pitch, brandishing a Don't Play for Apartheid banner during the UEFA Under-21 playoff between France and Norway. Activists protest against the Euro during the meeting of the Executive Committee in the headquarters of the UEFA in Switzerland. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Already more than 20,000 people call Platini to change the host country of the Euro. Other actions are planned next month to protest against the Euro. You too, join the BDS campaign and give Israel a red card.